Hi. Welcome to Face Jam. That's right, it's the show where we, not you, try every new fast food creation to let you know if you need it. Don't tell us if we need it. I don't care if you think we need it. You probably do. I'm your host, Michael Jones, alongside my co-host, Jordan Swears. Jordan, how are you? Um, I'm good. Th- thanks. Too many people have been telling us if we need it, right? You know really? what I mean? Well, I, I mean, se- him. I haven't seen that what did in I the do? comment section. No, no, no. People tell you all the time, like, oh, you gotta is- try this, yeah. you gotta try that. That is true. So I was lashing out for you because you. you've been lashing out all day. I don't know that I've been, ha- it hasn't been all I don't, day. I, well, I, we've had all- plenty of time to lash out today <laughs> as it is 5.30 p.m. now. And now the lashing continues. Well, the problem is, from from the very beginning. There are a lot of problems. <laughs> Not all of them have to do with this show, <laughs> but the problem is that right from the beginning, the vibes are off. Okay. We're recording on a different day than we have been. That's usually. true. We're recording at a very different time. And a different time. Yeah. And uh, we drove in a different car. That was. Which really threw off the vibes. <laughs> I don't like that you both chose to sit in the back. I would say. Solidarity with who, Michael. Who was yelling about <laughs> vibes first? Him? Who was oh, yeah. yelling about yeah, what? No, vibes being off. Yeah, yeah. He was just like, the vibes yeah. are off, the vibes yeah. are off. It was to when me, we were leaving the restaurant. To me, didn't think didn't think the vibes were off at all, right? Didn't even notice uh-huh. it. For the most vibe off, this guy with that backwards hat on. Okay, that's, it's a nice, it's the face jam hat. I know it's a nice hat, it's I'm just saying. It's yeah. just, I, I he's, saw, he's, I clocked Eric and went, he's dressed weird today. <laughs> <laughs> then he keeps saying vibes are off. a very weird colored shirt he's wearing. Just for too. him. It's just, 64, shopped on okay, Everything 64. he's wearing is colored. fine. <laughs> it's just your vibes are off no, no, in this no. ensemble. I have normal vibes. No, you don't. Yeah. So he comes in wearing non-normal vibes, yelling about <laughs> non-normal vibes. Couldn't even have noticed the day. Uh-huh. I barely ever know what we're eating. The time is noticeable, yes. It was true. We got not- in the car and Michael went, what are we eating? Burger? Cheeseburger? Yeah. <laughs> it's not so off with the time. Well, look, we had to move it. I, I will say it. the vibes officially uh, cemented were off when we climbed in the back of Eric's car. <laughs> 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 and he's pulling, he's pulling shit off the back seat going, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. It's like, it was funny, I'm too. Like, well, nobody sits back here and throw it in the trunk, throw it in the trunk, throw it in the trunk. <laughs> what was funny, too, is just like, Eric was almost... Adamant about like maybe we can't do the show if we have to take my car. I wasn't like, saying we can't do the show. Well, he was asking everyone was, else if they could. Yeah, yeah I was their like, car. are you okay with it? Are you okay with drive, it? Because yeah. I, I have little human seats. In my I car. have a two door Hyundai accent. You can climb it. Yeah, we back. know. You and bought you it did. from a Brazilian and woman both, in a parking I did, lot. In a, par- yeah, in a parking lot for like thirty eight hundred bucks. I mean, that's pretty that's good. A good deal. It smelled like cigarettes. Uh, I climbed in and I said, "It's a high school car." It is absolutely high school. High school car, just size, climbing in the back, the fabric, the smell. The shit all over the back seat. I mean, you nailed <laughs> yeah. it. Uh, I have, I have that car that I bought because when I was living in San Diego, I was around downtown, and it's like, well, I gotta get, like, if I'm parking like around downtown, this car can fit fucking anywhere. It's so small. And then I drove it out here to Texas, and now it feels like I'm going to get run over by every other <laughs> car on the road at all times. I mean, it the, is. I mean, the parking's still true though. It is, but when yeah. I go downtown, I go. Yeah. Burp, it's a, it's oh yeah. Just they zip put right those in. tiny slots. Do you everywhere. remember that company that was in Austin for a little bit called Car to Go? Yeah. Is that like you rent it and then you go to the car and it like? Yeah, they were just like little it's like the scooters, little smart. Yeah, they were cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> little smart cars that they sprinkled around uh-huh. uh, Austin, uh, which back in the day was very. It was much more involved to get approved to use the service. Yeah. You had to go to their headquarters that was on like Lake wow. Austin Boulevard oh my God, really? and show them your license. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, I only used it like a couple of times. Wow. Um, but it, w- it came in handy during South by because mm-hmm. then you could just like drive to it mm-hmm. oh, very far away from downtown and then drive into downtown and a little smart car. You can like, you can back into the little gaps in between two cars that are like parallel parked. Whoa. Yeah. So, uh, that's what that reminded me of. Like yeah. you, you could get, you oh, could well, always get smaller. You that's could a, get a smaller <laughs> car. That, I was going to say that is about the size of my car. Um, now I think you chopped the back off of your yeah. car and you got a smart car. I, size. I do agree. If I if I had to keep everything that was on the back seat in the back seat, that would be the size of my car. Because you couldn't a, have anything yeah, in the back it, seat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you'd have um, to you'd have to bring that inside and put so it away. We had to drive my car to this place. What are we eating today? Did we're you about, forget? We're about five minutes in. It's fine. Today we're How? reviewing Culver's Pepper Grinder Pub Burger. We're back at Culver's, baby. Yep. Culver's is a little bit of a distance from where we are. Mm-hmm. It's not is that how you say it's far as shit. It's not far as <laughs> shit. Maybe it's not that far, but man, it took f- 
fucking forever well, to get we, there. It was traffic. Uh, I there mean, was it was driving bit, at four thirty p.m. A little bit of traffic, ah. and also it, Eric's car being not the best ventilated. Oh <laughs> god, it, it was very long. Just so you know, we were on max AC, oh, I, full blast. I assumed we were. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything, but uh-huh. like I just assumed you couldn't like uh-huh. precondition your car as we walked up. Precondition? To it. Do you understand that when I when he we got active condition? <laughs> okay. When we went back to the car leaving Culbers, I had to tell like, wait, don't try to open the other door. I have to unlock it. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. I have it to unlock like it. It was, it was it's like you're embarrassed where... to be seen driving it <laughs> in front of your friends. It's, also... it's like, don't go in, don't go in yet. I understand the. Like, depending on the context of who you're with, you got, especially with older cars, man, growing up, you got the handle grabbers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, let me fucking unlock it. And then you're unlocking <laughs> them while they're pulling it. Yeah. He Aaron, reacted like Aaron that. Does that sometimes and we were all the Tesla. three well, feet I'm away from the car. I'm not close enough to the car. I you assume just you're close enough. I don't know how close you have to be for a Tesla, but it's really so close. Now, this is maybe even why maybe he's the one doing the yelling because he's the uh, one pulling the handles well, when it's he's locked. He's a handle grabber. Because we got near there. He's like, hang on, wait. And I'm looking around and go, who's he talking? And he's like, it wasn't open yet. We're all near the car yeah, yeah. we're all very far it's away. because my key fob doesn't work anymore right now <laughs> so you have anymore, to wait right? yeah. vibes were off <laughs> the vibes are not immaculate no it's not because i knew it was weird when we were at the restaurant and when we ordered all the food and then jordan afterward was the one asking for more food and then when they brought us the food they're like do you want sauce well, nick didn't even say I, yes i looked at jordan nick. went yeah and it was like well What's going on? It was, it was Michael, it was Michael who said something because I looked at Nick and was like, and then he froze. And I was like, <laughs> what happens next? And then Michael was like, what kind do you have? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, and then she was like two kinds. Uh, <laughs> like, well, why wouldn't you just give me those? Was right? my thought. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to make a big deal of the cheese curds, but in, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, very glad we ended up with them. I should have ordered the cheese curds. Um, I just didn't want to make a big thing because he was already it. kind of thinking about well, getting angry. No, you, we didn't think about it. Going, that's fine. You brought it up, and I he, would never drive a little angry lash out of you. It was yeah. a little like, no, yeah. I didn't get them. Yeah. Nobody said anything. That's fine, but it wasn't. Oh, I forgot. It was no, I didn't get them, and don't ask. Yeah, <laughs> he had that tone about. <laughs> he had the tone. It. Yeah. Uh, so he had that tone. I, I knew it had to like, be done. It's like dad's in a bad mood. No. Dad, don't make Dad me, had a rough day at work. Don't make me reconcile two transactions. I just, I just got up and I said, I'll take care of this. You did. <laughs> Ma'am, Onion rings curds, and please. cheese curds. Well, it's going to make it worth my while. You're welcome, Nick. <laughs> Tracy left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, she didn't turn, turn down cheese. No. I never would. No, she would never. <laughs> <turn down cheese. laughs> she, she, <laughs> she I, was, I don't know if that got picked up. No, because not her microphone's all yeah, the way over there. Her microphone far like away, but away. she mumbled we, it. I offered her she a cheese never turd when, when we got back, and she's like, oh, I'd never turn down fried cheese or liquid cheese. Yeah. And it was like, what? And she went, also, I would eat the cheese popcorn from the last episode. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> Crazy, you could just say you like cheese. Yeah, God. I do, I love cheese. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, if you have not listened to that, I will. Look, we don't try to cross the streams too much with Spit and Silly, but if there's a food court to listen to, it's the last one because those are fucking, those are, yeah. those are some of the best and they're crazy as fuck. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly sandwich with eggs and sausage is the, and then frying it. Is that out? Nuts. How does that work? It came out today. Oh, okay. And, Thank and God. A, and people, it is just comments of people going, if you sent that fucking email, explain yourself. <laughs> 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 Don't don't forget the pretzel milk, dude. They, the cereal uh, pretzel milk got back to us. Oh, okay. Here again, we don't want to cross the street. But here you go, but, dude. But I'm go- I have to do it. Pretzel milk got back to us. Again, I cannot believe this again. Milk. This person's time. name is now Pretzel Milk. Yeah, okay. uh, right. it was it like to be able to have somebody get back to us about this is fucking crazy. <laughs> pretzel milk is fucking great. My friend, this is Sydney. My friend has been sent the ruling. She has agreed to stop calling it cereal and will instead call it pretzel milk. <laughs> oh, the rules. <laughs> Is that our first, Dude. like, what do we call that? Yeah, like, like a follow-up confirmation. I want to call it a ruling. success. I mean, everything we do yeah. is yeah. a success, but yeah. it's like our first proof of sentence upheld. Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. You've you've served your sentence. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You can now be released yeah. back into food society. <laughs> now you're Eat your pretzel milk and you're peace. On, you're on parole now. Your history will follow you for five years, and if you don't do any stupid shit again, 
<laughs> You're on parole. Keep your pretzel milk to yourself. Stay out of trouble for the next five years. <laughs> <laughs> that rules. <laughs> All right, oh, do we have anyway, Col- this stuff. Do we have Colf Pinions? No, it's Pub Pinions. Uh, Why would it be Pub Pinions? Pub Pinions. Because it's Culver's Pepper Grinder Pub Burger. Here's my opinion. This place, it took way too long to get there. It was yep. way too hot, yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, but the yeah. ride back was so much better. I ate about 40 cheese. <laughs> you, you, would not, you would not believe dude. how many come in two larges. <laughs> like, I'm not, we, I'm not joking. Dude, we still have so many. I'm not many. joking. It might be 50 in a bag or <laughs> me, something. Me, like, me and Nick ate most of these. <laughs> There's like one left. Dude, how many would you say is in that bag? 25 or 30? Oh, something like that, yeah. I probably it's ate an 20 amount. at least in yeah. the car. I, I could, could stop. see, I could, stop. I could I can, see Michael again. through my rear view mirror, stop. and he was just popping over. Because again, so <laughs> with, the, with everything being backwards, yeah. instead of me and Michael <laughs> up front, <laughs> Like we usually are, we rode in the back yeah. and we were holding the food. Yeah, it was so really weird. Normally, we're not allowed to do. No. It's and ripped then, out of my hand <laughs> like, a ch- like a baby. We were taking so the we picture, and Mike, Michael started going, "We should take the picture of Eric and Nick." And it's like, say, stop, he stop, won't do it. And then you said he should read the intro. Yeah, yeah. Eric, Eric should have any regular episode. Yeah, it's super regular. <laughs> we have the we have a format. It's we have it all figured out. Oh my god! How often do you guys go to Culver's? I think this is the second time I've been there. Oh. I hear about it a lot. Uh-huh. I never go to Culver's looking for food. Mm-hmm. I go looking for a concrete mm-hmm. or a snack. Oh, I see. Yeah. Their their main attraction foods, like their sandwiches and burgers, do nothing for me. Interesting. Uh, but, you know, them being from Wisconsin and all very dairy focused, the the cheese curds are great and the 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 custard is great. Yeah. And like you can get a concrete or something. They sold Which is them if in you a don't know what that is, little is pint, in little pints. What is that? A but, concrete? Yeah. It's, it's it's like, like a, a it's like a blizzard but with custard. Yeah, cu- custard. I is, know. I'm, oh, I'm, I agree. I was waiting to see. Yeah, no, I was, I'm with you. Someone is just going. Is it concrete? <laughs> like they just, I'm, I'm yeah, telling quick you. Crete. I'm telling you. I'm doing quick crete <laughs> in yeah. medium. <laughs> it's it's like a it's like a Sonic situation. Yeah, they, they call it. That's I, how I go to Sonic. They call it a concrete, I think, because it's uh, custard's just inherently thicker. Yeah, like that's what sets it apart from ice cream. It's and that's why I I like it so much more because like it just being more dense and and it's thick, bougier. It, yeah, it has Which a is, it has a nicer texture better and why you like it. It's an sure. impressive. Oh, yeah. If it's more expensive, it has to be good. <laughs> Well, the end's got a whip on it usually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't get that kind of flair at McDonald's. <laughs> Culver's is a very interesting restaurant because somehow they took the fast food concept and then really just made it worse for you. <laughs> it, it really took it, out the fast. They really, it really is like, hey, we do ice cream. It's worse for you. Hey, we do hamburgers, but hang on. They're worse for you. We call them butter burgers. Do you want some French fries? Uh, Okay. How about cheese curds? What happened? (laughs) (laughs) It is the craziest. We saw ice cream by the pound. It is the fucking most nuts restaurant. That shit kind of hits you because it's like a culture change. It is. Because up north. Yep. In in Dairyland, it's probably all very normal to them. So I found out butter burger is not what you think it is. And I think it's a very deceptive name. Wow. It is not... Are you about to expose them? I'm about to expose Culver's. Are you about to blow this thing wide open? This is this isn't this isn't even in the fact. No, nope. what is this? Is this the investigative journalism? Is section? this the haiku? This is not Whoa. the haiku. This is where I blow it is wide open. Is this your scoop? This is a face jam scoop. Okay, a face jam ice cream scoop. Oh, not. Custard. I wish it was a concrete. Yeah, but okay. I didn't yeah. get any of the stuff that you said. Now I want it. <laughs> You want you want to pop the back a quick ninety minutes? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> they might be closer to go to Wisconsin. All right, Nick's going. We made, <laughs> we made Gracie wait here because there was no way she was fitting in the car. Oh, oh you didn't want to be here. here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was talking about it. I was like, thank oh yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. You sit in this cold, cold room. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um. So butter burger. You think it's a burger that is fried in butter? It is not. It is a burger that has a dollop of butter on top of the bun at the end. Why? Is that why it's so greasy? Yes. What the fuck? That's it. Why you making grease burgers? That's all it is. It doesn't have anything to do with the hamburger. It's not like it works because it's greasy as shit. We took a picture. You have to check out the pictures uh, at Face Jam Pod. Jordan held up the greasiest bag. It's fucked. That it, it, it's eating through it. You can see fun. through the bag. <laughs> you can see the wrapper inside why, the bag. What? Why would you do that? Like put just it, put butter on it. Like uh, especially on the outside. On the outside. Put yeah. It on like the I, inside. I don't care one way or the another. You know. I 
perfect scenario would be no butter involved at all. <laughs> like, I didn't care if it was on the patty or on the bun. But no, it's, I don't need it. But the reason is what you're talking about. It's the culture change, right? It's yeah. It's dairy land. Like, that's all, all this stuff is just what a, milk what and cream. Sip. It's crazy. Yeah, did you hear that? Yeah, yeah you, gulp, you gulp on that one. <laughs> didn't Man. mean to. Man. Um... I don't know. Culver's is just a weird it's okay. place. Don't get choked up. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's sad. Uh, Culver's is a weird place, but it's it's not prevalent. No, I don't know no. why it's not more popular. There's like two here. Yeah, you know, and it's, and it's too I, far north and too far south. I feel like they would be way more popular if they advertised themselves more as that kind of snacky ice cream place. Yep. They should just cut out the the burgers. Cut out the burgers. You know? Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if that's a foreshadowing to what Jordan thought about the burger. I'm still making my mind up. Wow. But what he's not making is the sick haiku because he already made it. Because I already oh, made it. Oh, okay, right, and right. it goes like this. Okay. Doubled cheese, bacon, that pepper grind set mindset. <laughs> A new pub delight? Wow. That was good. I like that a lot. That one tickled me. Yeah. I think I might be in a I pepper knew, mindset grind set. Yeah, yeah I, kn I knew good. pepper grind set mindset would yeah, get you. Yeah, that's guys. pretty good. That's very good. I'm like a Sigma, so like I really <laughs> identify with that. Sure. Yeah. Rising or? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Mega Man. That's pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm more of an X, but no, no big deal. <laughs> hey, should we get to the back? Yeah, I mean, I guess. <clears throat> wow, we just did this thing, huh? Mm-hmm. Our previous Culver's episode was released July 5, 2022, where we ate the Big Cheese Pup Burger. It received an average score of 84.5. That's did? very high. Yes. Oh, my yes, God. It, did. That's, it was very high. Huge. Yeah. Jordan's still making his mind we up. must have liked that. Jordan is. I mean, that? That, I mean, you must have given it a good, unless it's like 100 no, for me. It, it no. is both like, no, right. It's like, both uh, it's like 80 and 88. It's like really wow. close. I also can't. Jordan, I have no comment. I I have no memory of this. Jordan was so He's shocked. Kind of looking the around the room. Yep. That there it is. It's it just, looks identical. It, yeah, it looks it's like the <laughs> fucking thing we just ate. Yeah, right. yeah. right. yeah. cool. I thought right. you cool. accidentally <laughs> brought okay. up the no. pepper. Okay. But look, they say. got cheese curds <laughs> in the picture. I will Maybe say, that's I, what it was. I like. Uh, <laughs> I like Jordan. Couldn't believe the score. You said it out loud, and he went what and looked yeah. at his format. And sheet. then, and then even Typo? there wasn't even any like kind of quip or anything. He was just kind of shaking his head, you going, "I don't know what I was thinking." Yep. I just don't. Energy. Anywho. Let's get on to the next fact. I like that, by the way, when we do a, a, like anything we've done before, which is everything at this point, gets right. him a free fact. Oh, it's the best. Oh, yeah. Here's when a free we have fact, to go we to already a new place things. and I just go, oh, oh no, oh, my freebie. <laughs> no, that was my free bingo. No, no, five. <laughs> Culver's claims to serve over 150 million scoops of ice cream a Custard. year and have 5,400 dairy cows working full time to keep up with demand. We're not sure what a cow working full time is exactly, but we at Face Jam believes the cows should unionize to grind the dairy industry to a halt, only to have Joe Biden <laughs> tell them to get back to work, rail worker style. Get back to work, comma rail worker style. Stupid cows. <laughs> hey, he's the most pro labor <laughs> president. It's the funniest. And the thing. most pro cow now. It is the funniest thing he's ever tweeted from like. <laughs> it's, oh. Joe Biden loves labor unions. And then Except it's just immediately one. fact check. <laughs> like, whoops. I think that's great. We got to get these cows like vacation Dude, time. Dude, it's, it's hot strike summer, you know, that's like get the cows about. to do it as well. Yeah. Like, especially you deny people their, their frozen custard. Mm -hmm. People are going to be on the right side the of the cows. They did right in the fact sheet. They didn't even mention it. Yep. Yeah. They're going to be on the side of the cows immediately. Oh, like, I, get I them, with the cows. Get them a free, a, a fair deal mm -hmm. so we can get back to eating ice cream. Mm-hmm. What about who's getting chopped up? That's a different cow. Yeah, that's a different kind of cow. Oh. Yeah, that's a different. These that, are dairy cows. That, cows you're talking about meaty, they you're talking about meaty cows. Yeah, the cows, meaty no. cows don't have rights. The yeah, dairy cows are in UAW. Yeah, the beefy cows are in IATSE. Yeah, def definitely. <laughs> <laughs> different unions. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Way over my head. Craig Culver, founder of Culver's. Oh, that makes sense. Said that when the office got too stressful. He would head down to the local Culver's to flip burgers and get, quote, a little grill time. That would be like Nick going down to the Chuck E. Cheese, throwing a rat head over his monkey mask, and dancing around because audio got too overwhelming. Actually, he should do that. Nick, you should do that. 
I wonder if you walked into a Chuck E. Cheese monkey head style, could you blend in? Could you kind of <laughs> just start kids, dancing? Would the kids kind of like gather around? Oh, you? I don't think that. I mean, with the employees, right? Like the kids wouldn't say anything. Uh, hey, when we hire, we know he worked there, but so everyone knows he worked there. He held yeah. up a sign. When we get a monkey, great. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then he's just well, like dancing around. Well, that's how back. he gets into the back room and stuff. He yeah. knows the lingo. Yeah, you know, he'll be oh, like, "Oh, yeah. I'm here to jiggle the arcade <laughs> machine." Right. <laughs> He knows I'm, all the lingo. I'm Rapolo. Is that one of their names? What What's the name of the pizza guy? Pizza Nucci or something? What's the? That's the what's that's the name the of the quarterback of the Cowboys. He oh, doesn't know right. shit. He doesn't know ben shit. Ben How come Denucci? you don't know what his name is? I don't what? think I don't think that guy is this why you were let anymore. go. I'm telling this guy show the showbiz pizza. Show him. Fucking... He doesn't know his fucking friends' names. His name is Pie Plate. What? All right. well, you I don't that think up. it is. This is crazy. This is the vibes oh, are so Pasquale. off. Remember, you can order Pasquale. You can order. Remember, they were tricking people yeah. on DoorDash to order Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Oh, that. With That's Pasquale. what you were talking about. What did you order? You Didn't you order Hooters? Yeah. And it wasn't called that? Yeah, it was, it was, called, a, like, it was a burger place. It, I don't yeah. remember what it was. It was uh, like Owlies or something? Yeah, but it was good. <laughs> I kept ordering it. <laughs> it was after I got it, I went, This is Hooters. <laughs> Fuck, this is Hooters? <laughs> and then I kept it. So I ordered good. it like three more times knowing it was Hooters. And I kept going, it's a really good burger. It's so funny too. <laughs> ordering Hooters and not going there is maybe the funniest way to experience Hooters. <laughs> 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 they, got, they got a whole thing going on, and you're like, No, 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 no. Have you had the burger? I would though? never go there, but no. I'll order the burger to my house. Yep. How long did it take? About 95 minutes <laughs> to get delivered. So I, I order it before I get hungry. Yeah. <laughs> just so that it shows up right on time. I want to, I don't want to get too far away from, quote, a little grill time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Is that, this is happy place? Yes. I just got to go down and uh, relieve the fry now, cook of his duty so I can do he, some grill time. He also said, now, there's no, there's no, like, date on this, right? Mm. It's his, you know, founder of Culver said, when he gets too stressful. Now, this is like. After he opened the first Culver's, or this is now. No, no, no. I he just walks like, in. He goes, so "Boom, he, Daddy's here." Yeah, I he just feel like walks he's in tired. Any Culver's there is, and he's like, "Give me the spatula." He's, he's in his <laughs> ivory tower in downtown <laughs> Madison or Milwaukee. He and he's just like, "Oh man, this is not why I started. I need to get back to my roots." Gets a little grill time, and he goes, "Oh yeah, this fucking sucks." Oh, and he leaves right. and goes back to his ivory tower. Office. Oh no, yeah. no fucking shit. We pay these guys nine fifty an hour. All right, bye, idiots. Uh, he retired in twenty fifteen. But he was doing this up until he was retiring. Great. Yeah. So, I mean, definitely. I bet, I bet that didn't fuck everyone in the kitchen for right. the that, he yeah. showed up. That is 100% what happened. The yep. owner likes to do a thing for one second. Uh-huh. I just fucked everyone yeah. here. I just, don't worry, I'm getting some grill time. He says, yeah. like, back to the, the, the drive through He's got 100 <laughs> yeah. cars piled up. There's a fighter behind him he's, as he's like, don't worry, I'm just doing some grill time. You see, if you go to that Culver's and you see a Maserati in the parking lot, you know, <laughs> you know to go around. later. Turn around. <laughs> oh, fuck, he's here. <laughs> Oh, no, he's getting grill time. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck this guy. That's, that's crazy. I forgot we were in the middle of facts. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, we should, we should go to the next in the May of the, In May of this year, that's 2023, the EEOC filed charges against a Minnesota Culver's for discrimination based on race, sex, disability, and more. Managers harassed employees with slurs, and the franchise exposed female employees as young as 14 years old to sexual harassment. Hey, that's terrible, but can we slow down? Why are there 14-year-olds working at Culver's? We're going to get so sick. <laughs> that that just that snowballed. <laughs> horribly. Right. Right. Was, that like, whole thing was just horrible. Was like, first, first <laughs> discrimination, uh-huh. and then uh, the slurs, yeah. and then, whoa, uh, it, the sexual harassment. And then, what, 14 year olds? <laughs> yeah. How many problems does this one Culver's have? A lot. And they just keep going deeper and deeper. The thing about the article that I read, and there are a lot of articles about this, reading them and them going, like, yeah, and uh, these employees, some as young as 14, were uh, sexually harassed. And it just was like, and they didn't talk about how employees were 14 years old. What the is, fuck? Is that even allowed? Are, are you in eighth probably, grade? Like probably what? Minnesota. That sucks. That's even weirder That's insane. to me. Yeah. What? Like th- they've made laws that like 
recently they've just like rolled back child labor yeah. laws in certain states so that well, they could get 14 year old yeah. but I don't think Minnesota was one of them well, well, so they, 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 well they, were already already already, they were already rolled back yeah, they, never got, they never got That's rolled in yeah. in 1903 so when they said get these kids out of the coal mines Minnesota went hang on my 12 year old the <laughs> other day Culver. was telling me that the price of cigarettes went up again <laughs> Oh, these fucking palm oil extra longs are getting an arm and a leg. <laughs> All right, well, I have freshman year, bye. <laughs> and the final fact in this hell, in 2011, the city of Madison, Wisconsin, paid $10,000 to quote the Culver's Five, five dorks who open carried guns into a Culver's and had the police called on them. Their group, Wisconsin Carry, claims to be a, quote, nonprofit organization dedicated to the preservation and reclamation of the basic human rights critical to a free society, end quote. Hopefully these guys had a good time at January 6th and are enjoying the treason charges that will surely that were surely leveled against them. <laughs> I honestly, uh -huh. if we can find their names, we can look up if they <laughs> Yeah. I, I mean like these guys carried guns to a Culver's. The, uh, it was the reason for it is so somebody would call the cops. Yeah. Clearly to demonstrate. A hundred percent. And then they're like, yeah, and then they got our rights of being infringed. They didn't even get arrested. The cops like, let me see ID. And then they're like. Three of them gave ID, two of them didn't. So then two oh, well, of they're them, sovereign citizens. Yeah, exactly. And then two of them were charged with disorderly conduct. And then all five of them were charged. And then all of the charges were dropped because they didn't they didn't break any laws. They were just yeah. shitheads. Like mm -hmm. they were just shitty dork guys. Right. They're not who wrong. Carried they're just to a culvers. Culvers. When they So when they when they talk about the preservation and reclamation <laughs> reclamation <laughs> of the human, basic human rights yeah, critical to, go to, to a culvers free society. With your guns. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought they were talking about like healthcare. No, 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 no. They're going. Oh, they're talking no, they about said human rights. You dumb shit. Yeah, oh, they're sure. talking about go uh, to hamburger guns? store with gun. Guns. <laughs> oh, guns. The what? I, I thought these were unrelated. What things. if one of the meat cows escaped and charged them? <laughs> oh, no. exactly. I'll put it down. Yeah. I'll take care of the, him. The uh, the woman who called nine one one was interviewed later, and she they were like, "Why'd you call nine one one? You know, how did you feel? Whatever." And she was like. Well, I don't know the law about open carry in Minnesota, so I just saw five guys with guns, and I didn't want to be the person who didn't call 911 right. when five guys with guns went to a Culver's. Yeah, because and what, I went, what else could you assume? Right. <laughs> right. I, I imagine the scenario was, man, what do you you call 911 every time with five guys with guns walked in? <laughs> yeah. like, yes, I have. Yeah. Yes. This is uh, the, yeah, be, this uh, is the yeah. first. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say, Stuff I'm like, like this happens every day yeah. when people are out reclaiming their basic human rights. Right. You don't get it. We're the good guys with these. Yeah, that's right. Look, and you're trying to yeah. eat a hammer. As they're like waving yeah, their gun at you. Wait, you're eating a concrete. They're dipping it in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just free society. This is Sorry. me reclaiming. This is a basic right, idiot. You put it, may I use a concrete like a silencer? I put, it, put, it, put it in the mint shake and pull the trigger. I don't think it'd come out as concrete. Yeah, think oh. about it. Oh my god! I think that's how they do test ballistics. They shoot them in the concrete. The concrete is what saved uh, the jelly. Saved uh, Teddy Roosevelt when he got got shot. That's right. Yeah, what he had a concrete in his breast pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt, <laughs> Culver's <still> cold. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> uh, those are the facts, though. Would you, you feel like we learned about? God, it? it was terrible. What <laughs> that some, man? Some fucked up stuff. I, it's I was all fucked up. <laughs> it was all fucked up, and then just weird. Yeah, it's it matches this episode. That was a weird one. Yeah, weird vibes. I can vibes tell reading accurate. through the facts because sometimes I can just go through them, uh -huh. and sometimes as I'm reading them, I'm going, "Oh no!" A second before I have to say it out loud, <laughs> and this was definitely one of those. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them are. Oh, here comes Eric's next. Like. Uh, his just his quick five. These kids comes his best five. He's been writing these tonight. Today was oh no. Oh, this is all he had to work with. Great. Here I go. Not a lot of Culver's news. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Whatever news there is, it's fucked up. It's yeah. not good. No. Hey, it's Eric. Zip, zip, zoom, zoom. It's me. It's Eric, and I'm doing ads, and I'm doing them fast. Here we go. The first one is DoorDash. Zip, zoom. That essay that you definitely started weeks ago, facetious, before the deadline, again, facetious, and not the night before, facetious, might be easier with some late night snacks. DoorDash can help you get the snacks and energy drinks you need to get through the all-nighter. You don't have to go down to the bodega, to the corner store. You can use DoorDash to get the stuff 
for you. Get the back to school savings you really want and get unlimited free DoorDash delivery with Dash Pass, just $4.99 a month for students. How worth it? So worth it. With $0 delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 member-only offers nationwide, Dash Pass by DoorDash has everything you need to make this semester memorable. Dash Pass for students gets you delivery in an hour or less so you can satisfy those spur-of-the-moment cravings or save even more with 5% off DoorDash credits back on pickup orders. You can go get it yourself. I mean, really, save a little bit of money. Save a little bit of dad's money. Uh, you don't spend all dad's money. You can use Dash Pass, save dad a little bit of money, but still get all the stuff. You know, you she uh, gets a Red Bull and you get a monster. That's all I'm saying. And you save even more with annual membership, less than $50 a year, where unlimited $0 delivery fees for a limited time. You'll get 50% off up to $10 on your next order of $15 or more when you sign up for a Dash Pass student plan and enter the codes. Are you ready? Here's the code. No bugs, BTC. That's 50% off up to $10 on your next order of $15 or more when you sign up for a Dash Pass student plan and enter code NOBUGSBTC. Don't forget, NOBUGSBTC is the most important part because it tells them that we sent you and you get 50% off when you sign up for the Dash Pass student plan. Uh, subject change, terms apply. Hey, this next ad is from Shady Ray. Shady Ray is our friends at Shady Ray's who gave Nick his sunglasses at RTX because he broke them, hitting his uh, self in the face with a basketball. Nick, I know you're listening to this, and you did it to yourself, baby. Take on the sun with gear built to last. Our friends at Shady Ray's have you covered for the warm weather ahead with premium, not really ahead, it's now, with premium polarized shades at an affordable price. Shady Ray's is an independent sunglasses company that offers a world-class product that's just as good as the expensive pairs we've worn durable frames and extremely clear optics for outdoor adventures and activities that's not all shady rays offers the most insane protection in all of eyewear this is the important part every pair of sunglasses is backed by lost and broken replacements you don't have to find them at a convention to get your glasses replaced that's simply what nick has done you can go to our uh you the face jam youtube channel and watch us take over Shady Rays to get Nick his sunglasses back, which we didn't have to do, and then we did, and you're going to go, that's a paid advertisement, and it's not. It's just something we did at RTX. If you lose or break your pair, even on day one, which Nick did, they told us they will send you a brand new pair, no questions asked. Wear your Shady Rays with confidence because they have your back with your purchase. Exclusively for you, the bugs, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the season. Go to ShadyRays.com and use code, this is the important part, Face Jam. For 50% off two or more pairs of polarized sunglasses, try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 250,000 people. That's too many. Just take it from us for ShadyRays.com. Use code Face Jam. 50% off two or more pairs of polarized sunglasses. All right, you made it this far. Here's the last one. Guys, it's Kato's Coffee. Here's the thing. If you are anything like me looking for coffee with a difference, try Kato's Coffee. They have pods, they have whole beans, the variety of grinds to suit your coffee machine. If you go to katoscoffee.com and join the coffee revolution today, you're helping us out because they, you know, they'll be like, oh, Face Jam, Face Jam's over there. It's, oh, they, they sent their friends, and that's us. We're friends, and we sent you. Uh, you go to Kato's Coffee, K-A-T-O-S-K-O-F-F-E-E. -E. You can join the coffee club and get 5% off. Here's what I recommend and what I've been drinking. I get the whole bean of the Ethiopia natural, smaller bean. I enjoy it. You're not going to care about this part, but I'm going to tell you about it anyway. It's a very full natural bean. It's dried on raised beds, keeping it away from rocks, dirt bugs, things like that. And then once you, once they get it filtered, make sure all of this stuff gets out. So you only get the best beans. So that way, when you grind it in your machine, which I recommend because it will give you the best flavor, uh, you'll get a full with this Ethiopia. It is sort of fruity, but it's a little milk chocolatey. It's different. You just have to try it. Sorry. I just love talking about coffee. Anyway, go to Kato's Coffee, K-A-T-O-S-K-O-F-F-E-E.com. Join their coffee club to get 5% off now, the important thing is you go over there and you give it a try. And also, if you're not a coffee guy like me, you can get started. Why not? Give it a shot. Thanks, Gatos. Bow wow. It's a dog thing. Speaking of news. Uh-huh. Oh. I wanted to talk about some stuff that's been popping up in the news recently. Oh. Uh, top of the list for me 
is the Spung Monkeys coming back. Oh! At Quiznos. Yeah. Just one random ass day. Yep. They they put out a video and they're literally just saying, We are back! Oh, okay. We are back <laughs> on the road. <laughs> wow. They are going on a road is that trip. that the silliest thing you've ever seen Jordan do? Yeah. That oh, we've done it. <laughs> Done this before, uh, Gracie. Are oh, you? Aware I know. Of the I wasn't spun- are, oh. Gracie, do you know what the spung the sponge monkeys are? No. Okay. Okay. So, just so you're aware, these are things that we are big fans of <laughs> on Face Jam. This was a Quiznos ad campaign in God 2002. 2002 okay, maybe? so I was like eight months. Old. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, it's so cool. You've seen it? And maybe so, you were rocked to sleep. Uh, so, Listen how are that. you? S- how are you? Twelve? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you? Are well, we Culver's? Culver's, Culver's hiring fourteen-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. um, Wait, what year is it? <laughs> so, uh, Culver's, Culver's, Quiznos on. was on Come the on. cutting edge of weird internet thing becoming a thing that you put on TV back when nobody had the internet. Right. So they have it, been gone for twenty years, and now they're back, and this is them. Road trips are part of the American. We are back. <laughs> yep, there Gracie they are. Covered her mouth. There they are. She gasped. The gasp she just gasped. <laughs> Yep, there they are. <laughs> Sounds like Eric, right? Yeah. This was on TV. Yeah. <laughs> this this celebrated you into the world. So <laughs> I, I feel honored, actually. <laughs> Those are so, really something. But if you listen to the rest of that commercial, they're uh-huh. talking about how it's hard to find Quiznos nowadays. It's hard nowadays. to find Quiznos now. Michael, do you know why that is? Why is that? Because Eric? they overexpanded as a franchise and they all closed. So now the commercial that they made is it's really hard to find a Quiznos, but we're making it easy. Do you want to open a Quiznos franchise? Whoa. <laughs> that is the reason to bring back these little fucking potato gremlins. How much? I don't How know. Much? Let's look into it. Do you think you think we could get a face jam Quiznos? Absolutely. Listen why couldn't this. we? Listen to this. Quiznos has been on the front lines fighting for flavor <laughs> since 1981. Did we, did we write this? <laughs> Today, no, we're, this is pretty good, Eric. We're turning the innovation up to 11 and offering a revolutionary new restaurant model with a completely new dining experience. With millions of loyal fans seeking out Quiznos, but unable to find them, apparently, it's the right time to bring Quiznos back to your community. Holy shit. You can be a hero and 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 open a Quiznos in your neighborhood. Yep. Uh, we should look into it. They have a unique approach to construction. This is on the, the website about owning a Quiznos. Right, Quiznos, which is what the spung monkeys are telling you. Right, right, right because right. because it's been 20 years and now you're 20 years older, you're yeah. 20 years richer, you when, can make a bad decision and invest shit. in Quiznos. When you were a freshman in high school and you saw the spung monkeys and it changed your life, now you can open a franchise. <laughs> now they can, now they can ruin your life. Yeah. <laughs> so Quiznos has a three-pronged approach to their path to profitability. All right, let's hear it. This is great. Unique approach to construction. They have a revolutionary new business model with prefabricated modular units that can be assembled and opened in a matter of weeks. I don't understand. Wait, these are like they're, pre-built houses? That they're gonna just slam down on a lot. What the fuck? Do it. <laughs> this is crazy. I want to own a Quiznos. This I want to is... own like a quarter or whatever us and then Nick is for a Quiznos. <laughs> if, if we do it, we have to film it like Red Dead Redemption 2 where you're building the house. It, it just won't even be that hard. Yeah. Yeah, the, crane, the crane comes in and drops <laughs> yeah, it, it and drops then it's it done. Go, hooray. Okay, so that's one prong. Innovative menu meets high efficiency. This is where it gets cloudy. Okay. Like this is <laughs> this is where I think they had one idea uh-huh. and then they're trying to come up with other ones. Quiznos is the brand that invented the toasted sub, and right. we're getting back to our innovative roots by rolling out a menu unlike anything else in the sub category. I don't think you should call it that. With new equipment such as get a load of this deep fryers, okay. we okay. can offer items the rest can't, all while being faster and tastier too. Here's the problem with Quiznos: they did invent the toasted sub in the fast food like sandwich category thing or whatever. And then Subway got it and then Quiznos went under so fast right. you yep. forgot they existed. Exactly. Yeah, it doesn't matter at all. It's a real Hydrox situation. Yeah, exactly. We were here first. Nobody gives a shit. Who we're gives here now. A fuck. Yep. Fuck you. Yep. <laughs> their last thing is just we're fast. Yeah. We can make anything on our menu in a matter of minutes. That's all places. The last one is please god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> please. So if you're ready to make How a much? mistake, does it say 
Uh, and we can request grand, info. Grand? Do you want me to do that on yeah. behalf of yeah. the podcast? Yeah, I want you to go ahead and do that. For sure. All right, cool. I'll go ahead and uh, put in Nick's name. I yeah. think there needs oh, to be a sauce monkey, spung monkey. Oh, right? sauce monkey. It's like, oh, can somebody oh, Photoshop? Oh, can somebody Photoshop that? Gracie, here's I'm the original. That's gonna be me. And did you <laughs> yeah. just turn her on or up finally? Off. Off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gracie, here's the original spung monkey ad. Okay. Wait, this is real? Yes. Yeah, this was on TV. Can't you hear the bit rate? <laughs> this was, this is it. This is all it was. And it made my dad so mad. <laughs> well, that was their job. Yeah. Yeah, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It's, I'm looking at it going, we're of the generation where like, I don't think that's funny in any way, but it, it's, well, the fact it doesn't that, bother me. Yeah. It's just, oh yes, this is a thing that happens around I, me. I think it's funny <laughs> that they're on TV. Yeah. I well, find that very funny. <laughs> do people know, like, it was an internet thing first yeah. where they sang about how they liked the moon. Do you remember that? No. <sighs> okay. We have yeah, to watch, it, we like the moon. Oh, we will. We really don't. Yeah, no, 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 no. You have to learn about how they liked the hey, moon. Hey, did you... Do you know he thinks the vibes are off? Now watch this one. Now watch this <laughs> now watch, <laughs> it, now watch this How video the on the audio Eric podcast. Kept, Eric kept showing people <laughs> videos. This is... I like how it just gets worse and worse. Somebody saw this <laughs> and went... quality one. We should put this on TV. Gracie can't believe what she's looking yeah, at. Yeah, she can't. She straight up can't. I just like, I can't for some reason comprehend that this was real and on television. The bar is idea. low in look, 2010. Look, like, 9-11 like just happened. Seen on happened. Yeah. Okay, 9-11 just happened. We're looking the country was trying to heal. Yeah. I just... I and just want to came along. I just want to bring it back for a second. Gracie said this looks like something I would see on Vine, and that made me feel like I turned into mm. dust. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gracie, would you would you rate them as love them or hate them? Which category do you fall into? I love them. Yeah. You but are I don't with, know why. You are with 88% of oh. people. Oh, my there's gosh. There's a poll on the website. No if way, you go really? to quiznos.com slash spongmonkey, there's a poll. <laughs> tell, your dad, says, tell your dad. Tell your dad. He's got a vote. He's got a vote. As it stands, they're at 88% love them. Wow. <laughs> currently 88% currently 88% Dude, love them. if we em. teamed them up with the monkey, uh -huh. we could have a hit on our hands. We, gotta we could finally out. make this thing profitable. <laughs> We gotta I figure out how I think sandwiches. Fa face jam is the missing ingredient to really energize yeah. Quiznos. Mm -hmm. You know, when those checks come in, let's remember who made the idea. Oh, <laughs> was it Nick? I've okay. already forgotten. <laughs> it took a really long time to respond. We'll, ne we'll never get the yeah. checks. Oh I, I love the idea of these these spung monkeys like trapping you in a room and going. <laughs> you know, we have an opportunity <laughs> of a they, lifetime. They they really are like selling you a timeshare. Yeah, that's pretty fucked. No, a timeshare is a trap. Uh huh. This is a gold mine. <laughs> I'm telling you. Modular prefabricated. <laughs> modular. <laughs> They're modular. They can be. It can be open in a matter of weeks. A deep fryer. A fryer. Fast food. Are you listening? Time by. <laughs> Time by. Time, time by. by. Uh, I, I really like the one-two punch of a spung monkey starting something and then a salesman just hammering you with it. And then he goes, then the spung monkey says more shit. And the guy just keeps going. Oh, man. Somebody Dude, added a spung monkey into uh, Glen Gary Glen Ross. <laughs> here's, Always be closing. Here's what people won't know. We open, we open this Quiznos, uh -huh. right? And there's millions of Quiznos fans out there with no Quiznos to go to. It's true. Right. They're, They're just wandering in, around. They're wandering around aimlessly like, like, <laughs> you, like you have like a fucking theme park simulator and you remove the exits. Yeah. And they're like, how do I get out? Exactly. Then, how do I get out? Yeah. keep walking around. They come in this Quiznos. They go, finally, I like to have a sandwich. The Spung Monkey's hitting with it. We don't have sandwiches, but would you like to buy a Quiznos? <laughs> We're just the Quiznos, Quiznos that, that, sells that sells all the Quiznos. franchise. Yeah. You're a genius. Yes. You're a genius. We'll just be on the ground. There you go. You making know, things happen. The guy from Ray, Cole, Ray the guy Croc from, style. The guy from Culver's will come in for a little, <laughs> a little grill, grill time, time sometimes. <laughs> little it's going to be fine. Time. This is going to be great. It's putting butter on all our bread. It's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Stop doing that. We don't stop. do that we here. We don't need butter sandwiches. We don't do that here. <laughs> Craig is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Craig is in the house. Oh, man. In the kitchen. Uh, Jordan, let's learn about the food. Sure. Unless you have more news that we need to I get I mean, to. I was going to touch on the Subway uh, contest. What's, where, oh, I oh, forgot. Yeah, yeah we yeah, should yeah, talk yeah. about that. Uh, yeah, I linked that. Yeah. Uh, Subway is having a contest where uh, if you if you change your name to Subway, uh -huh. you win a chance <laughs> to get free Subway for life. Yep. A chance. A chance. They're only doing it for like one person, right? Yes. So, right. But here's the thing. It's, n it's not exactly that dumb. It says Subway fans will be asked 
to commit to legally changing their name to enter for the chance to win. So you just have to like sign something that says, if I win, I'm obligated to do it. Oh. Right. Then I'll change my name to Subway. Okay. But it's not even that good of a contest because then your name is Subway and then you get cursed with yeah. free Subway. Yeah. And yeah, I was going to say also you win Subway sandwiches. It's, it's kind of like you lose twice. Well, here's yeah. my question. You have a though, dumb like, name now but and like, you can only eat at Subway. But is there like a time frame in which you got to keep your name Subway? Because I mean, you could just change it real quick. You can. I'm sure there could be switch there it could back. Could be some backdoor, yeah, way out of this. They, they, you somebody know. check in on you every month. Your name's still Subway. Your name's let's still see your sub- let's yeah. see your paperwork. Yeah, because if you say if you're like, well, my name is Terry, but I legally changed my name to Subway because I won this contest, so I get free Subway. And you're like, right, so your name is Subway. I'm calling you Subway. Your name is Subway. He's like, no, I was Terry, and then I changed my name to Subway. Your name's not Terry. If you anymore. go to file your name like uh-huh. again to change it, uh-huh. they're like, "We'll change your name back, but we are going to notify Subway. We are going to let them know. We have to let them know legally. Yeah. Just revoked. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, however, is there a is there like an age requirement? Because this could be a real easy way for like a family to just be like my kid. The, I got a new kid. This is my, name my to child Subway. Subway. Yeah. I think you have to be a certain age to change your name. Legally. They did think of that in what order the to fuck? enter. You what need the to be fuck? A- I gave them their name. I should be able to change it. <laughs> they didn't have to be a certain age when the when they were. Born. That's right. I'm supposed to change them whenever I want. <laughs> you do have to be one a legal <laughs> resident of the United States and at least be 18 years oh. old. And for whatever reason, 21 or over in Mississippi. No, oh. we don't know what's going on over there. Yeah, weirdos. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, fix that backwards hat. Putting it back on. Anyway, we can learn backwards. about the food. Now. <laughs> That that uh <laughs> that killed enough time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we were hurting for. <laughs> All right, Culver's Pepper Grinder Pub Burger. Cool. The Pepper Grinder Pub Burger gets its name from a flavor-packed peppercorn mayo blend, which is spread across a savory everything bun. Atop the beef burger, two slices of crispy smoked bacon offer a delicious contrast with the richness of Swiss and cheddar cheese slices. Um, that's a pretty good description. Did you taste bacon? Uh, there was bacon on it, that's for sure. There was. So what I asked is, did you taste bacon? No. Okay. <laughs> I definitely tasted that peppercorn mayo blend. Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ. Wait, was yours packed with peppercorn? Oh, oh, I, oh my God. It, it wasn't. It was more than packed. <laughs> it was slathered. It, uh, I don't know what <laughs> flavor I was expecting, but when I took a Pepper. bite, I was like, st- I was stunned. You were stunned, and I said, I think it might be that mayo. <laughs> <laughs> There's, some, there's something peppery. sliding around in there. It was crazy. What was funny, too, is that we were just talking about how salty all the other stuff oh. was. Because we, we were trying the, the cheese curds, the fries, the onion rings. It was like, boy, they put so much salt in all of this. And then as, as if, like, the universe <laughs> needed to balance itself out, we took a bite of the burger and it was like, here's the pepper. Here's the pepper. <laughs> oh, God. It was, it was absurd. Also, they asked me if we wanted singles or doubles of that burger. I... If you're getting a double of that, take a step back and like right. really re-examine. Yeah, like fix Did they put double butter stuff. on the double burger? They I put one on top and the bottom <laughs> bun. And then you eat it upside down. Yeah, like, they really oh, want to no. make sure you don't make it home alive. <laughs> it is a double burger of that is so rich. It's so <clears throat> that's much. A, that's a good way to describe it. Yeah. Is that it's it's not even just a lot, like or a big burger. It's all rich. It's it all is. like Oh, like as you're eating it. it, everything feels like, you know, when you drink like 2% milk or, or like a low fat yogurt or something, and you're just like, well, this clearly isn't like the full version. Cause I would uh-huh. be going like, like yeah, there's sure. like a lot Got here. This 2%. is 110% Oof. everything. This is yeah. double whole milk. It dense. really is. When you're it's chewing it. This is full on like, they're, they're like, this cheese is made of heavy cream. And you're like, yeah. I don't think you're supposed to make it like that. They go, right. We do. <laughs> you're like, oh fuck. Okay. You That's taste- how the 14-year-olds make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why two slices of cheese? Why, like different ones, too. Yeah. Like well, Swiss you, and cheddar. Maybe like, they tell you in the press material. Oh. The combination of fresh beef mixed with really great Wisconsin cheese <laughs> and our four peppercorn mayo is what sends this burger over the top. Says Craig Culver, he's back. He's getting a little grill time. <laughs> <laughs> I like to get a little press time. <laughs> I like how, like, he's the guy doing it. Like, he doesn't even work there anymore. Uh Uh-huh. 
Its unique combination lets our guests explore other taste experiences. And positive guest reaction to its introduction last year meant we just had to bring it back. So this is from 2014, the last time what they the had fuck? this burger. Oh, God damn it. Uh, I thought he was back. I thought he just wrote his own press material and then <laughs> quoted himself because he's like, well, I did say it. Yeah. Uh, Craig Culver retired in 2015, and this is from 2014, the last time this burger Maybe was there. Maybe he came back for this, though. Because, so oh, how many times did they bring this thing back? This is the second time, and it went away for that long. Why wow. was it gone for that long? Uh, well, because it didn't get a great introduction, the guest reaction to it <laughs> the second time. We're hoping they forgot about it. <laughs> Do you think this is why Craig retired? He just went. Oh, no. After yeah. it flopped. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grill time in shame. It was like his baby. <laughs> It was it was his baby, and he was like, "Oh yeah. no, yeah. people hate my baby." <laughs> <laughs> I got to change his name to Subway. <laughs> uh, it anyway. Back to really getting into this burger, which uh -huh. we were already doing before right, the press yeah. material. <laughs> yes, I, I saw I saw the gloves coming <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, I think now before we really get into like how the food was and what we thought and everything. I think that you should be really informed by when Jordan saw the score of the previous hamburger. You're right. Why right. he was so stunned. Uh, <laughs> what did you think of this burger, Jordan? It made me realize something that <laughs> I probably give Culver's too much credit based on all the other things that uh -huh. I like about them. Uh, I probably didn't realize until eating this burger that I don't like anything that they make <laughs> as far as burgers or sandwiches. And I just like all the other stuff. Except that for that they pub did. from last year. That pub yeah, you love that. Apparently loved. I. I may have had Culver's like bias or blindness. Mm -hmm. you know? I don't know. That's why that score is shocking to me, especially when Gracie pulls up the picture and it looks exactly like the oh, thing we ate today. The same. Yeah. So, yeah. Now I'm not so sure because the only flavor it has is pepper. It's fucking dude. That's and why it's, that's about it. it. Is, it's insane, and it's not just a. It's you're eating it going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like does. pepper. It, it's like, like I mean, <laughs> I'm. It's like when. It's like when. <laughs> Somebody grinds too much pepper and then like it's <laughs> they in nailed the, it. It's <laughs> in the air and like you breathe in and it you go. Puh! Yeah, I love in my throat. I love a food that packs a punch. This this is a bun that packs a pepper. This and that's is about it. Fucking yeah. crazy. This is it's not the kind of punch you want packed. No, no. this is not it what anyone wants. Everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's all it tastes like. Mm -hmm. And then I don't and think it helps to have the two different cheeses. I don't understand why right, there's it, two different flavors of they cheeses. They put bacon on it, and it did <laughs> nothing and to just, the hamburger. Again, it's so much stuff on it that it's dense. Yeah. And so it it's impossible to eat a single yeah. all the way through. I'll be honest. Like, I had not only to eat because it's going to fill you up, but to get through because it's so intense. Mm -hmm. I had like 40 cheese curds, as mentioned. And so that was another reason I couldn't finish this. And I went. Thank God I filled up on quiche. <laughs> yeah, so, on, honestly. It is not a decision yeah. I regret it in any way. Now let's... I, I would like, have I'm, rather... I'm, I'm done with this here. I would have rather I'm eaten done with the cheese curds. <laughs> I, I don't know this, but I, I would like to test something. You didn't finish yours. You didn't I finish yours. Finish. No. I, finished I didn't finish mine. Gracie, did you finish yours? No. Nick? Yeah. <laughs> right. Are we surprised? I even, I even yeah. nibbled down to the end, you know, like the bits and went, I'm done. I, I mean, put this down. even without knowing, I felt like I could throw myself one run around to home plate and <laughs> knock it out of the park by asking Nick that question. <laughs> yeah, he was hungry. It's late. It's yeah, dinner. it's five o'clock. Okay? It's dinner time. Are you going to go home and eat dinner? No. Are you actually, though? Maybe. He, <laughs> might, <laughs> yeah, yes. he might stop no, at Culver's no for a way. little concrete. I could go for some ice cream oh. or custard. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> he's not messing around. He really he is getting to. pissed off that we keep mentioning it. <laughs> he keeps he's getting be so up. sad. He's gonna be so sad when we don't go. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Whose car are we taking, guys, <laughs> fellas? Eric, can you drive? <laughs> we gotta stop saying we're gonna go on the episode and then not go. <laughs> yeah. We're setting up expectations to the audience, and, and they're getting disappointed. Yeah, they are. <laughs> They, 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 people keep asking me, hey, did you get that ice cream after the show? And I, I don't have the, I, uh, I don't have the I heart to tell them, them no. I lie, so. don't have the heart. Well, I, well, I don't really lie because I do go by myself yeah. and you guys don't go with me. But. Uh, oh my God. I mean, there's there's not much else to say about it. Um, there, there's this to say. Everything else we ate was very good. Yeah. Not only, yeah. like, fine, it was great. The yeah. cheese curds were delicious. So what I love the about The onions were great. The fries were yep. pretty good. It was all salty as shit, but yep. it was still very good. Yeah. 
Uh, is I salt, don't, salt, good. Pepper, I'd, too much. Let me oh, tell you, the Dr. Pepper didn't do shit. Oh, that's right. Oh, we didn't whole, even talk about that. We, uh, we got to do, because it's fucking stupid. Yeah. That's why we didn't talk so about So we talked about, I talked about, about it with Gracie. <laughs> when, we were, when we were leaving, I was like, oh, Gracie, what drink do you want? We bring it back. It's like, I said, the thing online says, have the pepper burger with the Dr. Pepper. She's like, oh, Dr. Pepper. And then we said, went, I think it's just because they both are the word pepper. Right. And I'm pretty sure that's all it is. It, I mean, it's low hanging fruit. But like, <laughs> Dr. Pepper doesn't taste like pepper, but this burger sure does. <laughs> uh, I the wonder, Dr. Pepper doesn't help that. I wonder anyway. if Dr. Pepper tastes like pepper if you take a bite of the pepper burger first Fucking and then drink some, crazy. some Dr. I pepper. I would definitely uh, not order this. Uh -huh. <laughs> what score would you give it, Jordan? I'm not trying to make up for. Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, past, you, call, you let, are, but you can also just give yeah, it whatever score let's you want. Let's call it past mistakes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm doing this one. He liked it last time. <laughs> but now he doesn't. But now know. I'm not so sure I did. Now, now he's I doubting think I was, everything. I had, I had Culver's tinted glasses. I don't know. I mean, I clearly liked the last one. Yeah. Which is fine. I like all of them, but even this one, this oh. is really something. 38. Too far. 38. Wow. Yeah. Um, it was really, I'll be honest, and maybe, maybe this is why the last one was so good. I can't even tell you how good the burger was because I couldn't taste it. Yeah. I, I couldn't taste the burger, the bacon. I it was to. just overwhelmingly that peppercorn and just, I'm chewing. And that's about <laughs> it. Yeah. Right? It, wasn't was, though, it didn't taste bad, but I'm like, this is just peppercorn. There was I one moment where I was like, I feel like I need to eat more to get a better opinion. But I looked down at it and like the pepper mayo was like. Seeping, out, seeping yeah. out of the burger, and I was like, I can't, yeah. I can't go back in there, so I, I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a 45. Okay, uh, that's an average score of 41.5, which is about half of what we gave the last. This is one. exactly where I wanted us to end up. This is worth <laughs> less than half, yeah. less than half. It this really, great. we really uh, didn't. I don't pleased. doubt my last decision. Yeah, it was probably good. This sucks. And that's 45. <laughs> this sucks. Like, yeah, it sucks. Oh, yeah. it's not. Let's not get crazy. Um, got some stuff over here. Yeah, we got we got a You're snack. Fiddling? We got a snack. These yep. are Twix. It's from Amanda. Prince. What the Polo fuck? Dark Chocolate Perfection. That's a Twix Whoa. knockoff. What is is it? No, I just mean like just the wrapper. Oh, I kind of oh, like yeah. If you don't look, at I the can kind of see that. Yeah, I saw it come out the side of the box, and I'm like, this is a counterfeit Twix. <laughs> it's from Amanda Watson. That's, okay. that's fool's gold they have. <laughs> It's talks. Uh, I've been I've been listening to your podcast, catching up on uh, present episodes. Absolutely love the show. My friend got me into Achievement Hunter. Blah blah blah. Who cares? Yeah, um, what's that? Ship has sailed. Uh, it's my favorite podcast. Love each of you. Eric's my second favorite producer. Blah blah blah. Second, second? Favorite? Yeah, right. It that's says, awesome. Okay, this is fucked up. It says behind Christian. That's not wow. damn, yeah, that's, dude. That's fucked up. Uh, the T-shirt like guy. Their, it looks like their favorite podcast is. Um, Face stream. No, the t-shirt podcast. Why are they why are they mailing why are they, us? Why are they emailing us? Yeah, I this don't is know. still email. So right? anyway, here's Prince Polo. And each have a, me and me and Gracie will split a, split a Prince Polo. I feel like now is a better time than ever. Uh-huh. Y'all might all hate me. I don't like chocolate. Whoa! Whoa. I, I don't really give a shit. Like last week or two weeks ago, those <laughs> uh -huh. macadamia nuts, y'all. Swallowing you them whole. Wow, really? Swallowing them whole. Oh my god. <laughs> Weird. You could have just said no. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't have to eat <laughs> this. Yeah, you don't have to eat this I mean, I mean, Gracie, if it helps, <laughs> yeah. your rating doesn't count yeah. for anything on this show. My also, rating doesn't also, count for anything I don't work for show. big chocolate. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Not, not yet. Then I'm going to be pissed. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I guarantee you, someone, li someone listening does hate you now. You're not, you're not <laughs> I wrong. I think a lot of them probably Someone, will. Someone is actually but again, uh, very upset. My ratings, my opinions on the show, not mm. relevant. Nope. Uh, also, this sucks. Yeah, this is like... Okay, good. So, yeah, you dodged a bullet. You, I like chocolate, and I don't like this. Um, it's so melty. Mm. It's it's dark chocolate, which yep. is not my favorite. What's in between? Wafer it's, and more chocolate? It's like the, the shitty cheap wafer yeah. as well. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of tastes stale and musty. Amanda, thank you for sending a snack. Where a is musty this snack? from? Who is Prince Polo? I don't know. Um... Let me see if I can find any information it's on this. It's so packaging. melty. It's from mm -hmm. the Melendez International Group. I don't, like, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like any chocolate. Uh, it says it's a Polish chocolate bar. It was mm -hmm. made in Poland. That fucking yeah. tracks, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't like any chocolate mm -hmm. that I'm holding it for two seconds and it's melting it onto goes, my fucking yep. fingers. Yep. 
fuck off. Yep. You shouldn't even be invented. Mm -hmm. I don't want the fact that I know chocolate exists where that doesn't happen. I never want that kind of yep. chocolate. Uh, and then like, the flavors, whatever. Um, but Jordan said the wafers aren't the best. Yep. Yeah. They make they make much better wafers than that. What's your score? You can get some high quality wafers, and those ain't it. This I mean, one is a fine. I'm gonna do 65. Okay. 45. Too musty. 55 average Too score. Musty. Um <clears throat> like an old bag. I will it say it's like, a, it's like your grandma's purse. I will say <laughs> like the back uh, of Eric's car. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Very teenage flavor. Uh, uh, High dark, school flavor. Dark chocolate is inferior to milk chocolate. Definitely. Definitely. What's the regular chocolate? Is this just milk chocolate? Milk chocolate yeah, is, milk chocolate is, is, is normal. Is yeah, the best I would say normal yeah. milk chocolate. Uh, dark dark chocolate just does nothing for me. It's not good. And, and it doesn't help this in particular no. because it's more bitter already. Yeah. Um and. The wafer being as poor as it is. Wow, he likes it a lot. Wow. He likes it a lot. We gave some to our and he liked it. To be Are fair, I think, sure? I think he's just really happy with okay. paying attention to Absolutely. him and gave him some chocolate. That's, that's 100% true. I think true. he actually yeah. fucking hates it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's like, I'm waiting for him to think that we can't see him anymore. Yeah. And like, yeah. he's going to spit it out. Oh, there it goes. No, he ate it. There it, no, he's, there it is. No, he's, he thanked <laughs> Nick. He like bowed to him. <laughs> yeah, he did. Um, Very interesting. That was a snack. And you can send in a snack. If you think your snack can outdo that one, you probably can. Is that what people try to do? I think outdo so. Snacks? Yeah, they're trying to outdo snacks. Well, see, the thing is, I still never know. A lot of times people send us shit because it sucks. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, this sucks. Eat this. Well, or they send us shitty things because they like a different podcast better. Yeah. Well, oh, do you think it was sabotage? Oh, shit. I didn't even think about that. that do you was think they got the milk chocolate? Yep. Yep. Oh, they're gonna get all over they got chips. the better flavor. Wow. Maybe they're it's not as melty. They probably got actual Twix. Dude, I could go for a Twix right now. Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, you can you wanna, send us hey, snacks. Hey, you want to go get a Twix yeah. after this? And a concrete. All right. Yeah. Nick's going to fucking Nick's, Nick's Nick's flip. Nick's uh, gonna you can send them to Face what? Jam, uh, courtesy of Eric Bedour, 1901 East 51st Street, Austin, Texas. Is it Austin, courtesy Texas. or care? Care of Eric Bedour, 1901 East 51st Street, Austin, Texas, 78723. Um, hey. Hey, what's up? Hit me. Face Jam sunglasses and keychain noisemakers are out now. Yeah. They are <laughs> awesome. <laughs> noisemakers. Dude, the day I brought one home, uh -huh. one of my kids got it. Just would not stop hitting the monkey noise. It's so <laughs> it's, just Nick woo, woo, woo. it's so long too. It's, so it's long. like woo. it's his highest pitched, most siren like. It goes for an extra two or three seconds, <laughs> and it was just nonstop. Yeah, just pushing. Just it. had to take it away. Had to take it away. Yep. yep. <laughs> All right, that goes up on a shelf now. Yep. Uh, those you are on can, sale you can now. Ooh later. Yep. The sunglasses are on sale too. I love. The fucking sunglasses. You know who's been wearing them nonstop? You. Big Ray. Oh, oh yeah. hell yeah. Dude, he's yeah. been posting. He's some at RTX. He's, uh, he's been posting. He's like, oh, going out running, and it's him. <laughs> no shirt by the lake. Big ass sunglasses. Sweat. And Those are like, great. Damn. Those are great, like, throw on some sunglasses if you're doing something yep. and yep. you want to look kind of ridiculous you, and you don't really care what happens to them. It's a great look. Yeah. You got to look. Taco has got a pair, too. He loves them. Yeah. Damn. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing about these sunglasses. They're just too cool. They're too cool. And they're on sale now. Start Is that why you don't have them? No, I have them. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you've never. I, we, every time we ask you to put them on, you say you forgot them. I don't. Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't well, have them on yeah, you right well, now. Yeah, no, I forgot them. Whenever again. we have a cool it's guy, it's not a big off, deal. You're always like, I'll get, I'll get the next one. Well, no, I got this backwards hat. I'll start hat. the next one. No, right. no, I got the backwards hat. It's the backwards hat. Because last time you're like, uh -huh. well, if you're really cool, wear the sunglasses, and I forgot them again. So, so you put your head well, on the back? You can say yeah, they were in your car, but we were well, in the back of your car, and well, they weren't yeah. in no, there. No, but you and didn't. I looked in the trunk. Where you saw, <laughs> I, they were, I couldn't reach, they were further back from where we were in the they're, car. They're, so you, my I don't think the there was any more that, cars back that I could go. But, yeah, so I put you could my reach the hat back on backwards. From the front. <laughs> no, so I put my hat on backwards. That's pretty cool, okay. right? Right? Does he have these glasses or not? He doesn't have them. He's not cool. There's a cool meter to get them, I think is what he was saying. Oh. It just kind of knows. There's like an algorithm when uh, you go to the store. Yeah, and, and I it have kind them. of just right. approves or yeah. declines. So, kind of like uh, getting the car to go. There's an approval process. Sure, yeah. yeah. It's just passive. Mm -hmm. It's very it's passive. Not, so it, it's, it's not approved. It, it, if it's approved, it'll show up in your cart. That's yeah. how you know. So, so here's the thing. Here's how so, you can so test to see if you're cool enough. Cart. Go to storeoutreachteeth.com, put them in your cart, and then take it all the way to checkout. Yeah. If you're not cool enough, it'll kick them out. Right. But if yeah. you are cool, then you got those sunglasses. How are you going to work the monkey shorts into this? Here's the thing about the monkey shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey shorts are also on sale. Literally the most comfortable shorts I own. What can I do to make you understand how comfortable these shorts are? 
These shorts are incredible. I, I understand them. I own them right. too. Yeah. I mean, you don't really need to convince us. They're great. Uh, they are. I can tell you that awesome. I I use them to run in. I use them to oh lounge in. They are yeah. so comfortable and not. They're not like gratuitous unless you just really look at them. Yeah. And then you're like, man, the monkey face is just yeah. right, right, on right the dick. there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just right on the dick. Yeah. And and for a second, people might be like, whoa. But then you kind of look at it and go, I guess it's not really a statement or anything. It's just, <laughs> it's just kind of there's just weird. a monkey on the front of the shorts. They but are, you catch them looking. You they're catch the them most looking. breathable pair of shorts that I own. They're they great are, to like exercise. Yeah, they're, 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 awesome. they're an or, insane whatever. quality for what is printed on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're really, we really tricked you by putting this monkey's fucking it's, face on it's it. It's truly dumb. Yeah. I think. Um, <laughs> if you go to store.roosterteeth.com, you can grab them too. I really do. They are s s fucking great lounging shorts. I love them. Like when I Especially go home. Especially in the summer. I will change breathe. into those shorts. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Just let your legs breathe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, let so your nice. monkey Nick, breathe. Nick wears them to Culver's at night. <laughs> When he drives back in Eric's car. <laughs> are they are they fairly like symmetrical? Could you wear them backwards and put the monkey on your butt? You could. Or would that I be haven't awkward? I haven't tried. I'll let you, you know. Have to tie the back. Yeah. You know, like the strings, the drawstrings. I strings. never tie those anyway. Mm -hmm. well, I'd let the elastic do its work. Well, I don't know. Like meet your waist in a way. <laughs> be walking around here without drawstrings. Mm -hmm. Be arrested. Oh. oh. Be walking around with pants around your ankles. Yeah. That's right, I would. <laughs> hey, we I'll have a uh, now. <laughs> We got it approved. You're still going? It has been we have minted. More announcements. Jesus Christ. It has been minted. We will have it it's soon. Oh, and, I, shit. and I believe that Actually. we will have a uh live stream <laughs> for the release of the cat trilogy uh Come coin. On. Come on, like this would, once in a lifetime event. Uh -huh. I like how you accurately say it's been minted. Uh -huh. That rules. Well, yeah, we send it we, yeah, we yeah, send it to the We sent it away to be minted in Denver. <laughs> the, uh -huh. the one that the treasury uses. Lucky Denver yeah. mint. Uh-huh. Uh, we've mint we're minting this coin. Uh we will be doing I think we're doing a live stream for it. We'll get our dates and everything. Uh follow us at Face Jam Pod. This is to gonna find be out. momentous. I what, cannot wait. What is the monetary value of this coin? It's priceless. So, here's the here's the thing. It's priceless, correct. It's so much, uh -huh. but we will only be charging you a fair amount. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Is it like one one hundredth of a guest appearance on an episode? Wow. Is the value or something? Wow. Yeah. Priceless. Yeah. So if you get a hundred, mm -hmm. oh. So buy a hundred of them. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, who knows what will happen? So you can follow us at well, I do at Face Jam Pod to stay up to date with everything. Uh, Spit and Silly is next week. Listen to last week's where uh, we rule in the food court. Really weird shit that you send in, but you can email us Face Jam Pod at roosterteeth.com with your food conundrums, and you can be like, "Is her name Sydney?" And she had a friend who uh, now eats pretzel milk and not cereal. Yeah, follow yeah, up with Sydney's with, friend yeah. with your judgment. <laughs> Yeah, she got in contact with her friend real fast. <laughs> That's so weird how it was immediate. <laughs> when I heard when I fr my friend heard the episode, that was the stutter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I said, okay. I said when, I, when I right, and then had to fix oh. it. it was so smooth you didn't even notice. I would. <laughs> you went up at the end. I was expecting more. <laughs> like when somebody says rate and subscribe and tell a friend about the show or eat food and rate the food, and and I would say, okay, thanks. Was how were the vibes on that? It ended up all right. <laughs> we we skirted by. Is that it? Yeah. How did we get out of here? That that was the end of oh, it. Oh, goodbye. How many innings does this episode have? Oh, yeah. <laughs>